Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I am here in Lytham. I'm down in Lytham today, yes, just down the road from Blackpool. It's around about a 15 minute, 20 minute drive from Blackpool, depending on what part of Blackpool you're coming from, and it's a bit of a different beast is Lytham. Yes, it's rather swanky around here. I've been here before. And I thought I'd nip down here and we'd have another little look around in the sunshine. Look at this, what a beautiful day we've got here in Lytham today. And if you do visit Blackpool, I think it's worth a look down here. If you get a chance, it's very, very different to Blackpool, of course. Now, Lytham is often lumped in with St Anne's just up the road. So St Anne's is just the other side of Blackpool Airport and they tend to get lumped together. They come under Filed Borough Council, yes, which is situated, the, the town hall is just across from St Anne's Pierce. So let's take a little look around Lytham. So I'm starting off here in Lytham Square. I can hear a bit of music coming from that place there. I think it's Deacon's. Deacon's uh, restaurant. It's an old bank, that, by the way. It used to be a bank, yeah. Named after the guy that, that uh, owned the bank, Deacon. Yeah, and look at this here, we've got this very, very fancy, uh, like, uh, what would you call it, a mosaic of pebbles of fish. We are close to the Ribble Estuary, of course. And uh, we've got some classic, ca oh, oh my goodness, oh, it's kicking off in Lytham. <laughs> oh. Can you hear that car there? There's a car. I don't know what it is, but we've got classic cars. I'll show you them in a minute. Yeah, there's a classic car show going on at Lytham Hall. I'm not going there, but there are some cars parked up just over there. We'll be taking a look at those in a minute. But anyway, I want to show you some of the property prices here in Lytham. This is Lytham St Anne's Estate Agents. And let's have a look at some of the prices of property here. And uh, well, let's have a look at this one down here, shall we? Look at that there. Can you see that? West Beach. So that's facing the green. Oh, I'll take your pick. <laughs> look at that one there, look. Again, 2,250,000. Wow, look at the prices. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, so it is a bit of a, it's a different place to Blackpool, all right? You cannot compare with them. It's very, very affluent here in Lytham. Yeah, Lytham is certainly a contrast to Blackpool, where in, in some parts of Blackpool people are worrying about where the next meal is coming from or how they're gonna pay the rent. Not here in Lytham. People do worry here about money, I'm sure, but they probably worry where the next million is coming from or how to pay for the next Range Rover or something like that. Or, or, or maybe they just worry about the golf swing different types of worries here in Lytham. Well, I'll tell you one thing about Lytham compared to Blackpool, there's a lot of music going on around here, and that's very similar to Blackpool. And we're looking down Clifton Street here, which is the main drag in Lytham, where all the shops are, and you can see that they've got trees here in Lytham. It's very, very green, lots of green spaces here, and uh, yeah, so this is the main drag, and just over here we've got some shops here, we've got Fascination, a perfume shop, just over there is Stringers, that's a rather swanky shop there, Stringers, yeah. I believe Liverpool and Paul is just down that way there, they've got a classic car show on today, and uh, they've actually got some cars parked up just over here, so let's go and check them out, shall we? Okay, I'm just over from the square here, and that place over there is called Zest. A very fancy looking place that all right but check it out we've got a few classic cars around here look at this here eh? i wonder how much it is for one of these look at these wow what's that one it says rr on it rolls royce is it? oh it says royal marines on there look at this is that the silver spirit on the on the bonnet have a look around the back of this one. Oh no. It's like it's just out of the show, isn't it? What do you think? 
Is there a Bentley? It's got B on there. I like the tyres as well. They're the white wall tyres, aren't they? Yeah, it says Royal Marines on the side of all of them. How about that? There you go, very swanky. Okay, forget what I said about all these cars. These are all Buick, so they're all American. Can you believe it? Here's me thinking, I was thinking they were Rolls Royce, I was thinking they were Bentleys, but they're not, they're all American, they're Buicks. Wow. Oh, I tell you what, it's only about, what, half ten in the morning and that sunshine is really, really strong today. I'm not even wearing my hat as well. I thought, you know what, I won't wear my hat or my cap for this day in living because probably looks a little bit, I was going to say look a little bit shabby. Sorry about the traffic noise, but uh, I'm doing without my hat, so I hope I don't get sunburned. Check it out, look at all these people here, sat outside here. Zest, in it. highly recommended by the way, I have been in there a couple of times myself. I might go in somewhere, what do you reckon? I might go in, in one of these places, I might uh, try and live a bit of the high life myself, what do you reckon? It would make a bit of a change, wouldn't it? So anyway, let's, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to head up this way towards the Let's go and check out the windmill first, because the, fam the most famous landmark in Lytham has to be Lytham Windmill, and it's just up here. Let's go and check it out. Okay, so I'll be heading towards the, the windmill and the, the green in a second. I just want to quickly show you this street here. This is Henry Street. We've got a nice old building on the corner. Probably used to be a bank in the olden days. Just here we've got an Indian restaurant, which I have been in a couple of times. Mo Moshinas, I've been in there a couple of times. And just behind me, we've got Lydham House, which is a swanky bistro. And down there, we've got the Taps Pub. Very, very popular pub here in Lydham. But anyway, let's head to the green. They don't do street signs like that in Blackpool, do they? Look at that there, Henry Street. Late Duck Lane, interesting. So this place here, which was a bank in the olden days, I think it's actually an exhibition centre now. If you look there, it says up there, Lydon Heritage Centre. It's a grand building, 1899 that. And just next to that we've got uh, Northern Mo I think this used to be the Capri Grill. Yeah, that was the Capri Grill, that. Very, very swanky. And as I come this way, we've got the Lytham Library over there. Look at that building there, look. You know, Lytham and St Anne's were built off the back of the success of Blackpool, you know. All the money people built these towns from all the money they made in Blackpool. Yeah, so this road we're on now is called Dickinson Terrace. And that's the library there. And we're just coming up to Lytham Green now. Here we, oh, it's, look how busy it is. I can't believe how busy it is so early. So we're just after half past 10 in the morning and look at, look at this, look. Probably car park's pretty much full up. I'll just head across here with the music man on the back there. <laughs> So this is, it's called West Beach. Oh, I'll just show you this over here quickly. Just down there, you see where that coach is? That's the Clifton Arms Hotel. And I believe the name Clifton comes from the Clifton family who have owned most of the land around here and, in, and up to Blackpool. So that hotel there, the Clifton Arms Hotel, it's a it's a very swanky hotel there you go here in Lytham and we're now on the green look at this look at all this uh, grass we've got to play on here yeah and just out here of course is the the Ribble estuary look at this view here it's a bit hazy today so the the sea is not that great but uh, you can see right across to Liverpool and Southport, just over there. Wow. I'll just give you a little look down here. And uh, as you can see, there's not really a beach here in Lytham. They do have a beach up in St Anne's, but here it's just 
mud flats here and you can see the estuary over there look see the water you get a lot of stuff washed up here you know yeah a lot of stuff can get washed up here looking out towards sort of Southport area over there there's a jetty there just here we've got the RNLI there and the yacht club okay I'm heading towards Lytham windmill now the most famous landmark here in Lytham across the green and uh, this green is massive it's so long can you imagine cutting this it's a lot to cut isn't it and you know sometimes I call it Lytham brown you know in the summer when it gets baked in the summer and you don't have any rain for a while it can turn into Lytham brown it's where they have all the events and that sort of thing they actually have classic car shows on here at times they also have the 1940s weekend here on Lytham Green I did a video on that last year so you might want to check that one out okay we made it to the windmill and uh, it was built around the 1850s or something like that and was a working windmill up into the the early part of the 20th century when it fell into disrepair and uh, they were probably thinking about knocking it down but eventually it got bought out by the, the, the local council and uh, it's now a tourist attraction this building next door was the old lifeboat house so they moved that just down there where we just walked past that before okay so let's have a little look inside Lytham windmill I didn't do this on my last trip so this is a bit exclusive folks let's check it out look at this we can get a history here oh look they're showing all the windmills that are all around the file coast there look most of these are gone now that one isn't that one there that one's still still around great martin windmill that one's gone Is there not, oh this one this one is this one's still here marshmallow thornton that windmill still survives so that's where all the windmills are or were and we're now inside Lytham windmill check it out where do we go first down here let's have a look down here shall we oh i love museums it's cool in here history of Lytham you can read all about it here oh I'll tell you what it's nice and cool down here look at that old railway sign there look wow a lifeboat uh, history there look just in here we've got some uh, food look at that there look Bovril Warburton's Bisto. Kiddies toys here, look. Yeah, so we're right by the base of the windmill. Look at that there, that wall there. Look at this here, look. Can't see any iPads. Now then. A bit of wartime history here. World War One in Lytham St. Anne's. Yeah, they do field training uh, on on the green. They actually do um, mock up battles during the 1940s weekend. You'll see it if you watch my video. But anyway, let's carry on. Oh, we've got old school photos here. Look at this. Look, Lytham Endowed School. Is that still going? Look at that. Someone's uh, work there. Thoughts and crosses. When you get bored. Roll of honour. Oh, there's lots to see in there. Oh. It's at detention. Punch and Judy here in Lytham. Of course, the trams used to come down here to Lytham, you know. Yeah, the trams. They used to come all the way here to Lytham back in the olden days. And look how they used to dress, eh? Back then. And there's a the tram route there. Look, there's an old tram. 
and that's the route they used to take all the way from Blackpool. What a shame it doesn't do that anymore. Let's head up here, shall we? Oh. See how, how high up we can go. I think we're at the actual mill. Look at that there, look, wow. That is the millstone. Wow, is this? Look at this machinery here. Can we have a look out the window? Look at that plaque there. It says old windmill, 1920. This windmill, which has given so so long served was given to the people by John Talbot Clifton. There's that name, Squire of Lytham. Yeah, the Clifton name. Pretty big round here. I think this is the top level. Right, here's a little look at the top level. We're right at the top of Lytham windmill. Let's look up, there you go. Back out into the sunshine, and uh, that was Lytham Windmill. That was a bit different, wasn't it? I didn't do that on the last video, so there you go. That was a little look inside Lytham Windmill. How about that? Check it out if you're coming to Lytham. Okay, so I'm back on Lytham Green again, and uh, I just want all the stuff I'm talking about in this video is kind of off the top of my head. So, like I said. The money here in Lytham, I'm just trying to think where the money comes from. Obviously, it's got off to a great start because the people that made it big in Blackpool built Lytham and St. Anne's as far as I know. So it's got off to a great start. So all the money came down here. They built big houses and, and businesses, obviously, came from that. And uh, these days, well, it's not so much tourism. Um, like Blackpool. Blackpool obviously relies a lot on tourism, doesn't it, for the economy. But here, there's a massive um, civil servant um, people. There's a massive place down there for civil servants, I think. It was Garden Royal Exchange. I'm not sure what it is now. But they employ a huge amount of people. We've also got the Land Registry, which is just up the road. In fact, it's, it's on the way to Wharton. And in Wharton, they've got BAE Systems. Obviously, that's where they build the, the jets, the Typhoon. I think they're involved with the F-35 as well. So there's a lot of employment around here. That's like a high level employment. So there you go. That's where a lot of the money comes from. Just look at that blazing away there in the sky. And I saw the moon move in front of that uh, not too long ago over in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, if you want to check out an eclipse video check out that one but we'll leave the windmill behind and the green and I'll head back onto the main drag in Lytham and uh, we'll see what's going on look at the pretty daisies here at St Peter's Church here I'm just by a junction with Clifton Street here so I'm at the other end of Clifton Street and I'll tell you what an old Land Rover. I wonder if that's going to the classic car show. So this is Station Road Junction. It's actually really, really busy here, you know. And uh, just up there is the Weatherspoons. It's called the Railway. So they do have a Weatherspoons here in Lytham. Yeah, tucked out of the way there. Up there. They don't have any McDonald's here, but well, they do. But it's the McDonald's is right down there, about two miles. So. But anyway, let's let's head up this way, shall we? Down the main track. You know, we're just thinking: Do they have any Turkish barbers in Lytham? Well, here's your answer. You can't escape the Turkish barbers. There's a lot of charity shops as well, of course. Uh, that's Brian House. Brown House, yeah, yeah, where a lot of the money from my calendar sales went through the through the sales, uh, the Brown House, yeah, Blackpool Charity there. Uh, lots of cafes as well. Let's have a look at the prices, shall we? Oh, a full English breakfast, eight ninety-five. 
That's interesting. You know, I was actually quite interested in that full English breakfast there, but it looked so busy there. Uh, I might have to come back and try it. What do you think? Another time. Okay, I'm just coming up to Bannister Street. This is Bannister Street. And this shop here, by the way, is Taverners. It's been going a long, long time. 1942. And it only recently closed. It closed in the last couple of weeks, yeah. A hardware shop. It was really, really popular, Taverners. But unfortunately, it's, uh, yeah, it's now closed, unfortunately. Let's have a little look down here. Oh, I've got to show you these rodded engines here. Look at that there, look, wow. I've just nipped down here to Westby Street. Down that way is the railway line. I'm not sure if I'll show the station in this video, but I did show it in the last one. But these houses here are made out of a particular style of brick. Look at that there. It's like a sort of greyish white brick, isn't it? And I know they've got basements, these houses as well. Yeah, Westby Street. And look at this church here, look. I don't think that this is a church anymore. I think it's been turned into really swanky apartments. Yeah, it says up there, AD 1910. Yeah, I don't think it's a church anymore though, I think. I think it's posh apartments. Just over the road there is the old police station. Yes, Lytham Police Station there. You can probably get a better look at it on my last video because the sun's coming right at us but there you go Lytham police station that closed down a long time ago yeah because what they did was they ended up incorporating all the police stations into Blackpool didn't they yeah but anyway I do think that this must be apartments this church so I can see a couple of cars here it's a Range Rover and a Porsche yeah so it looks like they've turned it into swanky apartments doesn't it there's like a little Sunday school at one side look there that was the Sunday school there look Anyway, I'm just going to head down here. This is a bit like a back alley, but it is, I think, I think it's a street, but I don't know the name of it. So uh, let's head down here, shall we? We've actually got a car park down here, hidden away. How much does it cost to park in Lytham compared to Blackpool? A bit cheaper, I'd say. Look at that. I'll tell you what, it's quite busy down here, you know? Anyway, there's like a little road here called Shopper's Walk. What do you think of that garden there? A bit over the top or? All right. Now let's head down here. This will take us back to the, uh, the main road again. Coming back to Leafy Clifton Street now. this wow pretty lively a Ferrari before but it was just off camera. What's this place here? Farina Inco. Let's have a look at the menu shall we? I don't want to have that you know. What do you think? They can't escape Turkish barbers and they also can't escape the Tesco Express. Okay I'm almost back to where I started. I just want to show you this place here. It's a ship and royal. Another pub. Yeah, there's a few pubs here. There's another couple I could mention, the Queen's on, on the green. And there's also the County down that way there. It's another massive pub here in Lydon, but we're almost back to where I started. How much does it cost to eat at Deacon? Ah, it's one of those menus where they just put a number after the food. Something else about Lytham as well compared to Blackpool. I won't need to worry too much about uh, dodging marauding gangs of beer monsters because we don't really have beer monsters here in Lytham like they do in Blackpool. But uh, I bet they have a few wine monsters here.
so there you go that was a little look at Lytham yeah I have been here before I'll put a link to my last video that I did here I think it was last year yeah so you might want to check that out and look at some other stuff in that video but yeah about like I say it's about 15 minutes away from Blackpool which is just up the road and uh, 15 minutes away but a world away in terms of the vibe and the culture around here it couldn't be more different to Blackpool could it but uh, anyway there you go that was living in the sunshine I hope you like this video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one